Hello everybody, welcome back to DD41, Daily Dictation 41. A special thank you to Thomas. Thomas said happy birthday and Merry Christmas and uh, thank you very much. Uh, my birthday is coming up. It is Thursday, December 22nd. Hey! <laughs> How old do you think I will be? I'm worried. Also, a good message to Radik. 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 That is much easier to pronounce than your full last name. He has another idea. Uh, of uh, Is that right? Of the Jirski. Of the Jirski. Of the year ski. <laughs> Radik, you definitely are a comedian. I like Radek. Radek, is that right? I hope that is correct. And finally, I Swear English, another great site on YouTube. He has a cool... Now, I Swear English has a big beard, and he was wearing a Santa Claus jacket and hat. He looks like Santa Claus. So I recommend you check out that video. I Swear English, funny guy, great information, and very proper British pronunciation. If you like British pronunciation, I think you should check out his channel. Ah, uh, yes. But now it is back to my channel, Daily Dictation. Daily Dictation 40 was from a British guy named David Icke, and he had a very brilliant, excellent, wonderful, interesting, important quotation for us to learn. Let's listen one more time, and then I'll give you the answers. It's a wonderful line I came across. If you've always done, or if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. It's a brilliant line. <laughs> this was confusing. The same words keep repeating. It's not that easy. Let's check out the answers. There's a wonderful line I came across. If you've always done, or if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you always got. It's a brilliant line. All right, let's go over the words. Now, the first word was there is. There's a. There's a wonderful line. There's a wonderful line. There's a wonderful line. There's a wonderful line. There's a. Wow. So many English sentences begin with th. There's a. This is a. That's a. Then the. The something something but the th sound perfectly is theirs that's this is then the but when we speak English when we begin a sentence nobody is that's my house this is my pen there's my friend no we're all like this this is my house. This is my pen. Here's my friend. <gasps> That's my house. That's my house. That's my house. This is my pen. This is my pen. This is my pen. This is my pen. There's my friend. There's my friend. There's my friend. There's my friend. So this beginning TH sound is really difficult to hear. But our philosophy, if you can say it, you can hear it, you need to practice saying it. There's my friend. No. There's my friend. So the TH begins inside the mouth. There's. No. There's. 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 It's really, really short. There's a wonderful line. 
wonderful. American pronunciation, wonderful. That R sound is tough, it is longer, powerful. Wonderful. There's a wonderful line. A line. A brilliant line. He used it twice. Line would be like a quotation. A quotation. Famous words. A quotation. What is Nike's line? Just do it. Okay? What is my line? If you can say it, you can hear it. There's a wonderful line I came across. Oh, a two-word verb, a phrasal verb. Came across means found. Found. It's past tense, came. So to find something would be to come across something. So come would be you're coming somewhere across. And the idea is as you come there, you're going across it, you're, you're following along, and you're noticing it. So you found it. By luck. You weren't intentionally looking for it. You found it by luck, or by accident, by chance. There's a wonderful line I came across. Oh, I once heard a beautiful line. And what was the line? If you've always done if you connect the sound, you've all connect the sound. If you've always done American pronunciation, always. David Ike's, if you've always, always, it's more of an always. The L is a little weak. If you've always done, if you've always done, sorry to my British friends, Americans, if you've always done, if you've always done, always done, the L. It's not a full L, but there is some L. If you've always done, if you've always done, if you've always done, or, or, he says or, he misspoke, he made a mistake, so cancel, start over. Fresh start. If you... If you always do, ah, if you've always done, no, no, no. If you always do, if you always do, what, and then stop the sound, what you've all, connect, what you've always done. If you always do, what you've always done. If you always do, what you always done. I can't say it. If you always do, what you've always done. Ready? Let's say it together. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Now, here we go. If you always do what you've always done. If you always do what you've always done. Very good. It's not easy. You'll, you'll, you'll. It's a very short sound. You will, you will. No. You'll, you'll. And the British pronunciation, basically the same. You'll always get, you'll always get, you'll always get, receive. What you've always got what you've always had. So if you have good things and you always have good things and you do good things, you'll continue to get good things. If you always do evil things and you continue to do evil things, then you will get, you will receive evil things. Karma. What comes around goes around. The message is be good. Be good to everybody around you. It doesn't matter what their skin color is. It doesn't matter what country they were born in. It doesn't matter what religion they have or don't have. Be good to each other. Respect each other. That's the most important thing. Am I American? My mother and father met each other in America, got married, had a baby, me. I was born in, on land that was in America, so that makes me American. But I could have been born in Egypt. I could have been born in India. 
I could have been born in Australia. It's not my choice. It's nobody's choice where we are born. It's luck or fate or unluck. So don't think that I am this, I am this. That's good. That's great. But if you think that and you see somebody else who's different, let it be okay. Great. Shane is was born in America. Shane's an American. No. I'm me. I'm a nice guy. I like people from all over the world. I like all religions. I like all races. I like all skins. You do what you want. Don't hurt other people and you're cool. This is really, in my opinion, a great philosophy for life. And the lesson is, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you always got. So if you're always nice, if you always have good intentions, good actions, things will be good. If you're evil and mean, things will eventually be bad. I really believe that. I like this. It is a brilliant line. It's a brilliant line. Brilliant line. This T sounds really weak. T sound really weak. It's a brilliant line. It's a beautiful line. It's a fantastic line. It's an excellent line. Yeah, I think so. Now, what makes this line brilliant? Why is it brilliant? Well, of course, the meaning is great, but also it's the repetition. If you always, you'll always, do what you've, get what you've, always done, always got. The repetition is very interesting to hear and it makes perfect sense. I don't know. Do you agree? I'll bet you do. I hope so. If you don't, that's okay. Leave your opinion. Share your opinion. And uh, let's be nice. Let's be nice to each other. Respect each other. That's what's cool. Okay, enough of my philosophy and David Icke's philosophy. Let's listen to David Icke two more times and then we'll go to DD41, okay? It's a wonderful line I came across. If you've always done, or if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. It's a brilliant line. It's a wonderful line I came across. If you've always done, or if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. It's a brilliant line. Okay, it is time for DD41. Now, as you all know, the Christmas season is very close. Today is December 19th, and uh, in six days, it will be Christmas. So not everybody celebrates Christmas. For some people, Christmas is a religious holiday. For other people, it's not religious. It's about Santa Claus giving presents, helping people. I don't care what your opinion is, it's fine with me. But Christmas is a good time of year to focus on giving and not receiving. We should always think that, but it's difficult. We need so many, I need so many things. <laughs> but during Christmas especially, I can focus on, wait, it's not about me. It's about other people. If I have something to give, or if I am able to give something, I should give it. In America, this is Christmas present shopping season. Everybody's shopping, buying presents for their mom, their dad, their children. But many people don't have a lot of money. 
So in America, we have something called layaway. Layaway. What layaway means is you see a game. I've got a game, actually. This is uh, my son's Christmas present. It's Nintendo Wii. This is expensive. This was over $40. If I didn't have $40, I only have $20. But I really want this. I can go to the store manager and say, Hello, please do not sell this. I will give you $20 now. And then $20 in three days. Three days later, another $20, and then give it to me. Do you understand? So it's like using a credit card, but you cannot receive the gift until you pay for everything. That service, that system, is called layaway. So a lot of people put many gifts on layaway. They're waiting for extra money. And then before Christmas, they go and pay the money and receive the gifts, and then they give the gifts to their children. In America, a lot of people nowadays are helping people with gifts on layaway. The situation, I am a rich American man. I have lots of money. I want to help people. So what many rich Americans are doing, they're going to the stores and they say, hello, store manager, do you have any layaway uh, balances? Do you have anyone who needs to pay their layaway balance? Yes, I have a woman yesterday. She has to pay me 80 more dollars. 80 more dollars? I will pay for her. I don't know the woman, but I pay the 80 dollars. And then two days later, the woman comes, Hello, manager. I'm here to pay the 80 dollars. That's okay. Somebody else paid for you. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Thank you. What a beautiful gift for this lady. These secret Santas are appearing at many different stores in America. I think it's really nice. It's a nice story. My explanation very long. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead, listen to the original video and uh, do the dictation. It is long. 41 words. I think it's 41 words. Yeah, it's, it's a long one. Do your best and I'll give you the answers in a couple days. Also, don't forget, I'll say hi to the new people at the end of uh, the listening. So, listen, good luck, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye. Her story has inspired others from Montana to Indiana to pay off the bills of complete strangers in these days before Christmas. Holiday shoppers who've heard about the layaway Santas say the sweeping acts of kindness have restored their faith in people. Her story has inspired others from Montana to Indiana to pay off the bills of complete strangers in these days before Christmas. Holiday shoppers who've heard about the layaway Santas say the sweeping acts of kindness have restored their faith in people. Her story has inspired others from Montana to Indiana to pay off the bills of complete strangers in these days before Christmas. Holiday shoppers who've heard about the layaway Santas say the sweeping acts of kindness have restored their faith in people. Her story has inspired others from Montana to Indiana to pay off the bills of complete strangers in these days before Christmas. 
Holiday shoppers who've heard about the layaway Santas say the sweeping acts of kindness have restored their faith in people. Okay, before I say goodbye, I need to say hello to all the new channel watchers. Thank you so much. Metallica War Cry from Mexico. Ooh, good music. I like Metallica's Whiskey in the Jar. From Croatia, 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 Croatia. Prijavak, Prijavak, Prijavak. I hope I pronounced that correctly. From Egypt, Amid Stars, Amid Stars. Oh, I wish I could go to Egypt. Elvis 001. Elvis is actually a Michael Jackson fan, a big fan. Welcome to the channel, Elvis. Thank you. From Vietnam, we have Mr. Saigon Pearl. Mr. Saigon Pearl from Vietnam, nice to meet you, thank you. From Canada, Mansori00, Mansori, Mansori00 from Canada, nice to meet you. Ananda Maharadika, Ananda Maharadika from Indonesia, Jakarta. I've been to Indonesia, I've been to Jakarta, and I do like Bintang beer. <laughs> from Russia. Filatkin. Filatkin. Kin? I hope I pronounced that right, if it's pronounceable. From Canada, Ms. Faro. Or is it Ms. Faro? Ms. Faro. Nice to meet you. From Spain, Avalancha78. Avalancha78. Nice to meet you. From Saudi Arabia, Majadis My Name. Majad Majadis My Name. <laughs> Majadis, is that your name? I like it, that's cool. From Canada, Jakali. Jakali, is that correct? Nice to meet you. From Mexico, the progressive Daniel. The progressive Daniel, cool name, uh, Daniel. Once again, from Mexico. Australia, and pay man, and pay man. Hey man, pay me man. <laughs> nice to meet you. From Japan, Hatch641009, Hatch, is that your birth date? Were you born in 1964, October 9th? Welcome from Japan. Again from Indonesia, Chindi Clooney from a junior high school, a junior high school student. Nice to meet you, Chindi. From the U.S., Jehana1, Jehana, Pangasmida. From Russia, once again Russia, Rosenluck, 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 from Kronstadt, Kronstadt, which is close to St. Petersburg, wow, very northwest part of Russia, nice to meet you. From Guatemala, Guatemala, the Fede 316, the Fidi Fede Fede, I apologize, I apologize for the pronunciation. From Guatemala, sounds like a beautiful country. From Italy, land of spaghetti and linguini. Frate Paruca, Parucha, Paruca, Frate. I'm sorry for my terrible pronunciation. Nice to meet you. From the UK, we have Amar, Amar Nakvi, Amar Nakvi, Amar Nakvi. Amar Nakvi, thank you for joining my channel. From Canada, CHV1L0. CHV1L0? CHV1L0. Nice to meet you. And finally, from Turkey, Erkan Kupeli. Erkan Kupeli. Erkan Kupeli. I tell you, I wish I knew exactly how to pronounce your names. I do apologize. Um, once again, Tell your friends to join the channel and tell me about your country, your town, and maybe I can include that in a future video. Thank you so much for joining Daily Dictation, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.